The countdown is almost over for the 21st annual Susan G. Cohen Race for the Cure. It's going to be here soon. Thousands of participants will be lacing up their sneakers this Saturday to help raise money in the fight against breast cancer. So, 6 in the morning, anchor Leanne Taylor is joining us now from Woodland Hills Mall, where packet pickup is underway. Leanne, hi. Hey Dave, we have been out here since Monday and folks have just been lining up to pick up their packets. A lot of folks have registered already online like my friend Jeannie Allen, 11 year breast cancer survivor, metastatic breast cancer. So we're talking you're kicking its tail, aren't you? We've got volunteers out here. Folks come out, they pick up their packet. Included in that will be a race t-shirt like these lovely ones here. If you are a survivor, then you actually get one of the pink survivor shirts for this year. And then you can do the timed 5K, the untimed 5k we have a half marathon this year and we also have the fun walk and run so there's something for everybody we're also selling some really cool t-shirts this year for the very first time these are osu ou and tu shirts i probably should give equal time to each of them but you guys know my love for all of them uh, these are a 20 dollars donation so folks can come out register buy one of these t-shirts and we're really excited because simon malls is one of the national sponsors and eileen neighbors is here from woodland hills and you guys have been this is just one of many things you're doing year round oh yes we are trying to raise funds for susan g Komen. we have raised a million and now we're going for our second million company-wide but coming up on october October 7th, we have a wonderful breast cancer survivor fashion show. And your own Tess Monty will be there as the MC, and we will have ladies from Susan G. Komen walking the runway, um, showing our styles and being fierce. You know, I know in October's Breast Cancer Awareness Month, with the race being on the 30th this year, it's a perfect way to kind of tee up for the whole month. You're going to see pink everywhere. Oh, it's going to be all over the mall. So we hope you come out and enjoy the time and uh, come out and get your race packet until Thursday and check out that fashion show on the 7th. As Eileen mentioned, you can come here to the mall, at regular mall hours. They'll be here right at Center Court, right in front of Penny's. You stop by here, you can register, you can make a donation. If you'd like to volunteer, even on race day, they would love to have you participate in that. So that's all great. Once we hit Friday, though, everything moves to the, uh, the uh, River Spirit Casino there at 86th and Riverside. And then you can pick up packets there. And you can even register right up until the morning of the race. And as I mentioned, the half marathon this year, that's a really big deal. And we get a lot of folks that are signed up. Dave Davis is going to be out there. He'll be at the start line encouraging folks as they kick off. He'll also be at the finish line as well. And uh, Rich and Alan will be there for the Survivor Parade, which is around 830 on uh, Saturday morning. So we hope you'll come out and be a part of this, the 21st annual Susan G. Komen Race for the Cure. Dave? Thank you very much, Leanne. Appreciate it. Looking forward to it.